Welcome back, everybody. Max and I here playing some more Fantasy Star 4 Prototype. I am sorry about that last delay. Last week was kind of a difficult one for me. So, anyways, we are in the Garubaric Tower. And there's lots of disgustingness here. Uh, basically, this is a really disgusting maze. And I am after all the treasure I can get in here, and also battles all over the place. This place, seriously, we're gonna get, like, everybody at least one more level before we're done with this place. And in fact, I can tell you right now that I got lost on the way to the Eclipse Torch. Um, I can tell you right now that it's going to take another two two videos, I think it is, before, uh, before we're finished with this place. And uh, thank you, Marcus, for the idea of using the Eclipse Torch. I kind of knew about it, but hey, look, it doesn't hardly do anything to anybody. Even the zombies or ghouls or whatever they are aren't going to take hardly any damage, but yeah, you know what, whatever. I just figured I'd let you know. I mean, honestly, it's slightly more powerful than the Lacka Rod, but... Um, yeah, so lots of... I don't even know what to call these things. Tendrils? Maybe, uh, entrails? I don't know. Oh yeah, King Saber. This guy is tough. Well, I mean, he's not any more tough than anybody else. I mean, his damage looked really low right there, but the fact of the matter is, it's just, you know, I mean, he can be powerful. He just doesn't do anything to really hurt us. Yeah. Not bad. I decided before to use, uh, Oh yeah, that's right. Try to heal Fall if I can. I had used um, Flaily because I thought, ooh, single target damage. <laughs> Instead of, like, 50 damage from something else. So. Sela's doing most of our healing with uh, Midis. It's not until the end of this area that we'll start, uh, that I'll wind up having to use uh, Sar or Gysar with uh, Fall. It's a good thing I went to this one first because there's treasure here. Of course, you can't see that yet, because I'm in a fight with a ghoul. And I thought, ooh, ghoul, I should do lots of damage to them with the Eclipse Torch. Yeah, right. I notice that the sound effect on that doesn't seem like it's playing properly. On the Eclipse Torch, Saint Fire, whatever you want to say. Ooh, Moon Slasher. Now, this is a new, of course, weapon for... Uh, Sell out there. Now, I did equip it in place of the Lacko Slasher, and yes, her attack power would be a lot higher, but I chose to leave the Reflect Shield on because she doesn't need that much higher attack power. She's not the one supposed to be dealing lots of extra damage. She's supposed to be dealing a little damage to everyone. And of course, the solution here is to continue doing things like normal. Because if I can, I can kill him in one shot. But it looks like I'm not going to get the chance to do that. Because Rudy doesn't seem to have a weapon to allow him to deal lots of damage. Which is kind of weird. Oh, I know why. Because he doesn't have that weapon yet. Lots of damage there, though. And a little bit of lagging, apparently. I don't know. Ah, oh, jeez. This is kind of... Annoying. But one of the good reasons for leaving Scylla with a shield like that is because she can take damage. She can she can take it a lot easier than some of these other guys who are kind of squishy. And this was a really good way of doing this. Having, uh... Having the damage distributed like that. Because, look, he uses Debon, which doesn't really help him against a Flaily. And see, levels for everyone. And I'd like to make a mention that Rudy has more HP than Fall. And they and he has higher defense. So in comparison, it makes more sense to put him in front of her. Now, not in front of anyone else, though. Dark Marauder, we've seen this guy once before, but I think I managed to kill him in one shot with uh, Fall's Genocide Claw. But not... or no, wait. Yes, this time. Hmm. There will be another fight against these guy, this guy. I think there's a couple more. 
something over there. I do get a little lost in this place. Very specifically, I think I get lost... Uh, Actually, I don't remember very specifically where I get lost. I do know that I wound up trying to go someplace, turning back, and then going there anyways, and it turned out to be a dead end. Which, by now, most people know I am the king of dead ends. I can find them whether I'm trying to or not. Oh, that was just great. And I accidentally used the Laco Claw there. I wasn't trying to, but, you know, it just kind of happened anyways. I like it when they attack Foreign, because he doesn't take any damage. All of the enemies here... Well, we can exploit their weaknesses. We can deal lots of damage to them. I remembered, oh yeah, I have items to heal with, like Trimate. Here, this is where it happened. I got into this fight with these Chaos Sorcerers, and I said to myself, Why don't I turn back around and go the other way? <laughs> Maybe it'll be better. But it wasn't. Shadowbind, how useless. Because they, well, they do use physical attacks. That first one did. I think that's a physical attack. I don't know. But, uh, well, these are the same guys we fought on the, uh, on the, uh, that shuttle that we've got at the beginning. Or the original shuttle. We fought one of him. Yeah, that was a dead end. I like to believe that I'm going the right direction because I'm finding these King Sabers. They, uh... Wait, I don't know why in my mind I keep telling myself or thinking to myself that they drop pla uh, Moon Slashers. But somebody else has to because this is way too early in the game for them to drop Moon Slashers. Or maybe I'm thinking of them anyways. I don't know. Maybe there's somebody else. Maybe it was something I read in some crazy fanfic or something. No, I did read something about that. I don't know. It's nothing I've actually... Uh, nothing I've actually experienced, I don't think. Not a whole lot to say about this. This trek through this... Uh, through this living maze, basically, is kind of... Well, it's very revolting. It is a maze, that's for sure. But there's a lot of good treasure here. I think most of the rest of the treasure that we're going to come up with against is all uh, due. Which means, you know, finally stocking up after using it all when I fought Lashik. Lashik, however you want to pronounce his name. And that was unfortunate right there. Debon. I mean, this right here, she can deal 13 damage through a Debon now instead of just like one or two. But it's still not enough. So it took one more round. And I don't like fights that take more than one round. Even if they are big enemies. That was an unfortunate dead end. On the other hand, that was a dead end. So, <laughs> it's kind of natural. Stardew. Definitely can use more of those. Because Fall does not have infinite TP, she cannot use Geysar over and over again. And the Stardew does help. Yeah, I just love that effect. It's like Death Spell or something like that. Then I, I can't remember. There, it's an enemy ability. It's used. You see it in uh, in bosses and such pretty often. I'm not going to say that I know it. I don't remember ever seeing it, actually, in this playthrough so far. But I do remember it being more of an enemy ability. And it is coded into the uh, Genocide Claw as a kind of a secondary effect. Once again, I like to think that I'm going in the correct direction simply because of the existence of two King Sabers here. Which is, of course, better than one. I should say it's more powerful than one. Not better, necessarily. And once again, it's just a grind through here. It's... Ooh, more treasure. Moondew. Now that we're going to ever run out of, uh... 
TP to cast River with anybody. Uh, I get the feeling this is going to be the uh, last thing I do before the end of this. There's the Eclipse Torch. Oh, I'm almost done with this video. Just one more around here. And, uh... Ow! Okay, maybe I just have to heal that first. Jeez. Yeah, I forgot about my items again. Anyways, when we come back, we'll be exploring more of this Garubuk Tower and see if there isn't some reason for it being here. See if we can't figure things out. See ya!